I can see the 49ers just kind of doing right by him, getting something back if that's the path that it goes down. But I don't think that they're going to be looking to move him. I think that the only way they would even do it, even if he is third on the depth chart, is if he were to ask for it and request it. I think that they're just so scarred from the last few seasons where they've had almost everything else in place but a consistent, healthy quarterback. And I think that all the things you hear about insulating the quarterback room and depth and having viable options, I think a lot of people just think it's coach speak or it's just, you know, fluff. But I think there really is substance to it. And it it, it hurts hearing some of these players talk at the podium as a fan of the sport because – When you hear them talk about that game in Philly, like they genuinely feel like they were robbed of a chance to play for a Super Bowl. And it's different than losing a close game or a turnover or a bad call. They literally did not have a quarterback that could throw the ball past the line of scrimmage. I can't remember ever seeing that happen in such a high leverage game in all my years watching football. So I think just the scarring that's left over from that just horrific luck they had in Philadelphia and over the course of the last couple of seasons – We'll just leave them in a position where they're going to keep as many of these guys as possible. But I also don't think they're going to keep Trey Lance against his will if he's voicing very clearly that, hey, this just isn't working out. I'd like to move on and start fresh. So I hate to say it. I kind of think the ball's in Trey Lance's court to see where that goes. I don't think it's necessarily fair that that's the way it goes. But unfortunately, life isn't fair. And the NFL is definitely not fair. Um, so I think ultimately it really boils down to that. And as, as far as reception goes, I mean, most teams would be under a lot more scrutiny just for the way the last couple seasons have played out. You take a guy that high, you move that many picks, they played four games, albeit one season was injury. That's kind of, it's different, but just the whole situation, most teams would be under a much bigger microscope and being criticized a lot more than the 49ers have been. They've just been really successful in spite of it. So if they keep winning this year, I don't think it's going to be as critical of a response. 